Hey everybody, it's Kelly from the Simply Organized Teacher. I'm here today because this week's blog post is all about Meet the Teacher Night and stuff you can do to make it memorable. So I'm going to show you one way that you can help make a smooth and uh, great Meet the Teacher Night by using Google Forms to collect parent responses. So we're in the 21st century, we don't really need all those paper forms anymore, and I know parents are tired of filling them out. So have some iPads, set up some computers, fill out a Google form. It's super easy. I'm going to show you how. And then uh, it'll collect all your responses for your kids that year into one spreadsheet. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I just Googled Google Forms and it, it brought me this. Sometimes um, it'll pop up over here in your dashboard, but it didn't for me. So go to Google Forms. It'll open up this screen for you and there's lots of different preset um, templates that you can use but I just it's so easy I just make my own so click on blank and you're just gonna really simply fill out the questions so right here I'm gonna title it meet the teacher night oh also y'all uh, I'm sorry about the sound quality here this is my first time ever doing this and I'm using like a free service and I don't have a mic, so it's pretty crummy and it's picking up a ton of background noise. I'm sorry. Thanks for bearing with me. Um, anyway, so title it Meet the Teacher Night and then form description. So, you know, please fill out information about your kids to help make it a great year. Whatever. So then you go right here to question and you type in your question. So obviously the first question that you want to ask is the student name. So what's cool about Google is it senses what it is that you're typing and it auto populates what kind of answer you're going to want. So if I'm asking for a student name, it knows that I'm going to want a short answer. So it automatically does that. Well, and there goes Milo. So that makes this video real great. Okay, so you can see I'm real official over here. Milo likes to sit on the back of the couch and watch out the window and somebody walked by with their dog. So of course he had to say hello. Okay, so student name, you wanna make sure that you require it, otherwise it can be left blank. And then you go right over here to this little plus sign, add a question, type in a new question. So the next question I might ask would be mother's name. Again, it's gonna auto-populate it for short answer. Um, if it's not, if you want you know, something different, you can just click right over here on this drop down menu and it'll give you all these different types of answer responses that you can ask for. Paragraph, um, check boxes, you know, they can check all the different things. Again, make sure that it's required. Okay, so, oh, I was also going to show you, you can go up here and change it to make it look a little more appealing. You can just change the theme color or you can go to this little guy right here and it'll bring up all these different um, fun, I don't know, themes, I guess. So we'll do this one. It's kind of cute. You can also, I think you can upload your own photos. I've never really messed with that, but you can do it if you want. Okay, so I'll show you, uh, you can go right, well, actually, I'll show you. So here's the one that I used with my partner last year. So we did it um, in both English and Spanish because most of our students are Spanish-speaking students. So here's all the information. Um, let me show you, if you go right up here to this little I, It'll show you what it looks like when um, a parent actually pulls it up on their computer. So they can go in, um, like here's the little drop down menus that you can choose. So they fill it all out and then come down here and press submit. And then it all compiles into, you can read the responses up here, but it also all compiles into a Google form um, or a Google sheet, I'm sorry. I don't want to show you, it's right here. I'm not going to open it up for you because it's got a lot of my students' information on it, but it'll it'll just fill it in. Student name and all by question um, are the different columns. So what I did last year was I just opened it up on all my iPads and computers. You can also, if, um, if your parents don't come to meet the teacher night, you can just get the link right here, copy it, it's usually best to shorten it. Just copy and paste it into an email and send it out to parents um, that didn't come to meet the teacher night 
So yeah, that's how you make a Google form. Super helpful. Compiles everything. You can print it off, leave it on your computer. Good luck. Enjoy. Have a great Meet the Teacher night.